With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. The giant scissors once again search for prey. The trail of terror stretches across Europe, from Norway to England. Professor Bart. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right, but remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. This game's pretty good. So, this is a direct sequel from the Super Famicom game. It's a little janky because it's made in 1997. So, and you can tell by this little bear JPEG. <laughs> Staff is still here. Right. And then the uh, pathing is a little jank. Statue, it is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. Seems to be hiding some sort of secret. Would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Professor Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Hmm. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. 
One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Oof, cold. Yes, yes, you're right. Scissorman's rubber mask. The kind sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. <laughs> I feel like that's a jab at me. Professor, a news reporter is here. I have an appointment for an interview. It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? I guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't even exist. Scissor man, it'd be cool if he were real, huh? Uh, just a joke. Hmm. Sure it is, Danny. Piece of shit. What do we got here? Harris desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. Seems Harris has gone somewhere. Let's double check. Alright. Should be able to leave the office now. Oof, some of that jank. Alright, who's this? Oh, Professor. That newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Meow. <laughs> right. Well, hopefully... Hopefully I don't screw this up. So if I do it right, I can play... It's either Jennifer or Helen. I... I think I remember how to do it. Jennifer was the girl from the first game who survives. Oh, Professor. I am the one who called you from Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. Rasaplatra. <laughs> I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? Is <laughs> I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Beep beep. Oh, do you mean that the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes. What about her? Nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago, and since we'd run into her. We asked her for an interview, but she refused. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the Scissor Man, and whether he really exists or not. That's it. That's right. That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of this Scissor Man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Oh, that hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. And that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. There's something I must be attending to. Eh, well, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you'd hoped. Get back to the lab. 
I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower murders. He's supposed to be a young boy, about 10 years old. Eh. I don't think there was any boy in the first game. Huh. Let's go back to the lab. Beep. To the lab. Okay, so what I'm reading is if I want to play as Helen, who was the blonde chick, the assistant, I can just talk to him once, send him out on this mask, and that's it. Or I can play as Jennifer Connolly if I talk twice, depending on how it ends, I'll have different things happen. Though. tell you what, we'll save the game, I'll start the game out as Helen, and then we'll go from there. What? What do you need to do? Oh yeah, the stone. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. Should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrow's mansion named Rick. Show it to him first and see if he knows anything. Oh, look. Troll. Ask Harris. Yeah, dude. Harris, go show it to the creepy, freaky, freaky deaky dude. Harris, take this statue and show it to a man named Rick. Is that the statue that was at the scene of the crime? Murders? For murders? Ask him if he knows anything about it. Yeah, sure, I'll go. At least come on my way home. This evening. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward? I thought he completely lost all his memory. From the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very... difficult. Edward, with his... dotting. Now, since this is your first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now I want you to honestly tell me everything. You remember about what happened? Uh, yeah. First off, why do you have a hole in your blouse, son? <laughs> well then, let's get started. Okay. So I'm going to save that and that one. And we are Helen. 
said your hard drive crashed? That's too bad. Yeah, I lost all this morning's data. If I can get it fixed by sometime today, otherwise, I won't get my dissertation done on time. Don't worry, when Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. You're probably right. In the meantime, I'm going to step out for a bit. Jazz Danny for me, please? Sure, see you later. Alright, where should I go? Let's go to the police street. Oh, station. Oh man, I love this 97, early 90s jank for these games. Assistant Inspector Goats, the person in charge of the clock tower case, is here. Man, Helen's got some stank face going. <laughs> well, hey, Teach. Got some new info? You know, have you got any leads? Nope. Nothing. That old geezer of yours, he ain't coming clean. Do you mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing straight about the case. Yeah, that sounds like Professor Barton. About that little cutie. What? Jennifer? She's still having nightmares. She's 15. I ain't surprised. She was almost last, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you learned something. My guy, she's 15. The little Jennifer Connolly girl's 15 in this game. No. No. <laughs> They're here. Oh, Helen. How's it going? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? No, but we can't give up hope. Sometimes something will jog one's memory. Yes. Will you be staying here long? Mr. Barton also thought it a good idea. We plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. <laughs> Get home and work on my dissertation. I'm doing a little bit of cheating. Because this game is. This game is a son of a bitch. <laughs> hey there. Oh, Miss Maxwell, I replaced your hard drive. Thanks. That's a big help. I'm going down to the lounge for a short nap. What are you going to do? We will all be going home soon. Oh, okay. Well, no need to lock up. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, the start of, like, any Japanese horror game is, like, really slow. So... Let me save, now that I'm out of the, inter or the intermission part. Or are you just getting a bunch of backstory? Oof, that's a lot of jank and shit. Alright, well, hey, let's go bother this person. Betty! Betty! Oh, Rose. Is that you, Baker? Oh, it's you, Helen. Baker's still in the lab. Rose, are you seeing Baker again here? What? Huh? Yes, sort of. You dirty bitch. I don't use the university as a motel. You dirty, dirty person. I think it's time for a nap. Could you turn off the light, please? I can't sleep with it on. 
Fine. You want me to do your fucking dishes too? Bitch. I'll take a quick cat nap. Don't stand in your bed, you weird white weird women. Hello? Well, now who is it? I'm trying to get some sleep. You son of a bitch. Hey, it's that guy. Oh. All right. Run, goddamn you. Oh, no. All right, uh... Can I go through this hatch? Ah, piss. Oh, that noise they got for it, though, is really good. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't remember how to use the stairs. I can't remember how to use the stairs! Oh shit! <laughs> oh, poopy. Well, shit. Alright, well. Fine! Don't even let me attack or defend myself, game. That's cool. I was pressing the fucking button. Alright, whatever. Yeah, you gotta press the square button, because that's the one you do for the, uh... Your reaction button, essentially. Yeah, well, the game's a piece of shit liar. Let's go hide in the bathroom. The little bastard can't find me there. Get out, baiting. I was given a false bit of information on something I could have grabbed. Now, unlike the Famicom game, Scissor Man will pursue you. He's not just gonna wait for little spooky jump points. Little son of a bitch. So if you fart around too much, well, I think there was a computer room. Helen, you drunk. First one of the computers on the table. Should have access to the internet. Some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. This might be useful. What is it? Pliers. Neat. Save often. <laughs> you know... Yeah. Yeah, I would say he's like Mr. X. You little mean little fucker. <laughs> I mean, mean little son of a bitch. Uh, give me a second. In the room, go down the second floor. Okay. 
Yeah, but at least the tell you have for when he's around uh, is the music. Yeah, take a lift, you know. I'm sure he won't be... Great, great. Some of the fucking jank from this game is gonna really throw me off. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you see, mm, this fucking oh, 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 you fucking game. All right, there is one item I need though. Um. I think. Hint five. Oh, good. I can throw that flower pot at him. That's a good thing to remember. So, yeah, the one item I need is a flashlight, and I need that in order to get the best ending. Fuck you, noise! Okay. Yeah, I'm cheating. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what the fuck I'm doing. And I kind of want to get the best ending. I've only gotten... Okay. Okay. Did, did Scissor Man send me a fax? <laughs> Sir, I don't accept these charges. Well, let's see what it says. You little fucker. <laughs> well, I don't know if I should hang out here. Wait for the music to throw a flower pot at the little bastard's head. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Once I'm out of here, I think... All I know is the flashlight's really the only thing I need. Alright, search Helen... Wait, is this Helen's desk? Professor Pardons. Gotta disconnect from the internet first, Helen. These are the dial up days, baby. Yay, the office key. In here. Ooh, neat. To the therapy room. I'm gonna need it. Oh, what? Who's this? <gasps> well, who is it? Oh, it's Rose. Rose, I told you your strawberry preserve addiction would get the get the better of you, you <gasps> dumbass. <gasps> Who's gonna clean that, Helen? 
Who's gonna clean that, Helen? Oh, shit. Someone took the scissors. Files. There's something written on the file. Oh, another hint. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, I gotta go to the first floor. Oh, I forgot how much this stupid game put me on edge. It wouldn't be bad if, like, you had direct control of your character, but you gotta use the point and click. And that adds unneeded tension. <gasps> God damn it! Yeah, walk at a leisurely pace, Helen. <laughs> if he finds me, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, little fucking flea man. <sighs> okay. What was that? Good job. here somewhere <gasps> you know what I'm not gonna lie that was a great use of the camera Okay, so you can use this cloth right here or this chair to attack Scissor Man, the little bitch. Exit. 
Boy, this game is actually really short if you like know what you're doing. You little bitch! Why is it playing that noise? Don't hide- oh you dumb bitch. Of course he knows where you're at. Please walk with a sense of purpose, Helen. That would be mighty fine of you. Alright, can't really use that bathroom again, because I'm pretty sure he'll know it's me. Is there anything I can use in this room? Luckily, oh, okay, wired tightly shut, well, work quickly, Helen. God fucking damn you, Helen! <laughs> no! Stop it! Get the fuck out the door! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does she drive a tractor? this game as a kid and that uh I sucked at that part man we haven't solved the last case yet and now another mass murder you're saying the murderer is Skizzerman hey uh, yes I saw him oh boy oh boy I'm sure you weren't daydreaming with Jennifer well, we're done questioning you for now go home now teach Hmm. Don't go anywhere too far for a while. Cause I'll probably have to call you in a gun soon. I know guts. No need for sarcasm, Teach. I really do want to believe your story, you know. Was it the real Scissorman? Yes, but I don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. But he sure didn't look human to me. You ever play Castlevania and see those flea men? Well, he was a little bigger than them and he had a giant pair of shears. Somehow we must find a clue about Scissorman. Well, let's check the research building. Helen, are you alright? Yes. 
Importantly, can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get in all morning because of the investigation. The people at your work need to read a different book. That's not Harry Potter. The scene of the cock tower murders. <laughs> That's just straight sugar. Yummy, yummy. So, if you want to have fun, I can get the worst ending. make a decision just yeah if you go to the library you find Sullivan is not there and I'll go to the police station talk to gods say yes to Harris okay It me. <laughs> That's the old geezer they used to be the butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family of the clock tower case? That would mean he. Well, he quit ten years before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything. Oh. About the case. But anyway, what about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. Statue of four. That statue just might be the key to the secret of Skizzerman. I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. I see. And since you believe in Skizzerman, you want to get your hands on it too. Well, if you put it that way... So, oh no, the worst ending is like, it's pretty dumb. I got it with Jennifer once. Uh, she just goes home, tells a, like, a cop that someone's following her. You get home and then you hear the scissors and then it just says end. And you're like, well, fuck you too, game. Well, at least that's Jennifer's. I don't know about Helen's. Like, the last time I played as Helen's, I actually got to the mansion... And then I got attacked by bees and, f or not bees, but bats, and then fell down in a crevice and died. Okay, so since I had him go to, well, if he said yes to Harris taking the statue, say yes to Guts. So, yes. Okay, so it'll be second scenario, right, this house. Please be careful. Look at that Norwegian house. 
a little triangle. Oh, I see. Is that how it was? Oh, there's a dog out there. Right now, I'm looking for a clue. Any clue. Hmm. Mr. Gotts, do you know of a castle called... Burrows Castle? Burrows Castle? <laughs> you fuckers were... Tell me more. So what's up with the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. What's that? That'd be Scissorman. I had always thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. Inbred they were. So the old man killed his own son. Listen, Gramps. You know where this castle is? It's in England. Sure, somewhere there is. Your dog's dog mad. What's wrong, Victor? Be quiet! Oh, he's talking. Uh-oh. Well. Well, your gun didn't fucking help. And just like any other person with the name Rick, dogs don't like him. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, oh shit. What if I use... No. Uh, shit. Shit, is there anything to use in this goddamn... Let's juke him. Get juked, baby! What is that noise? <laughs> this game's freaking out and it's weird me out. Do I have something to throw at the little bastard? Not yet. Oh. I'm gonna beat him over the head with this umbrella. Come here, you little bitch. <laughs> Come here, bitch! <laughs> I'm gonna show you the meaning of pain! <laughs> You little bastard! Yeah! <laughs> I just beat him over the head. Oh shit, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. garbage. He was a dirty old man. Well, I gotta go back down there now. He should just disappear. If I remember right. I don't even remember when the last time I saved was. Are you shitting me? You 
fucking midget. God damn him. How did you even get up there? God damn it. Okay, well, um, fuck. Okay. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, poopy poop poop poop. There, there is nothing I can use. Get out of here! Get out of here, brother! <laughs> it wouldn't let me grab it because you got to see those four dots in order to grab something. So I just punched the little bitch in the face. <laughs> It's like punching a child. Except this child has scissors and he's a little asshole. I punched him in the face. Okay, what if we go left? Please give me a hiding spot. That'd be mighty kind of you. Hold on, how are you going to do it? Yeah, I'm gonna cheat on this one. Where the fuck do I hide? You know what? Don't ask me about my... my life. <laughs> okay, once inside the bathroom, go in the bath area. Open the door. That's a really nice bath. That didn't fucking help, game! This walkthrough is shit! <laughs> well, fucking now what? Hey, Scissorman, give me a second. I gotta figure out what the fuck I'm do- Oh! All right, now I got a second to think. Let's go into the old man's dirty room. Nope, can't use the umbrella again. Can't use the umbrella stand, or the hat stand either. So let's do the... Can't go outside, because a dog will eat me. Chasing you. <laughs> oh God, a little asshole. How the fuck did he even get up there? Fuck, I don't even know. Okay, let me catch up. Let me read my guide what I'm supposed to do. Because I got sidetracked like a son of a bitch. Yeah, go ahead. Walk away. I don't think you should be you should miss anything. Yeah, I've got a defensive weapon now.
can cheat just a little bit because he's a little asshole. Oh, I'm just here for the soap. All right. Soused up and ready to go, baby. Pocket soap. Hey, man, you got some pocket soap, you got some alcohol, and you're ready to go. You're ready to face any fucking midget that's, <laughs> that's out to get you. <laughs> Alright, let me just catch up where I need to go. No, no, get out of here with that, get out of here with that, Jordan, get the fuck out of here, this doesn't sound like a brisk, get out, get the fuck out, okay, um, so, get the drink, Gotta go up the stairs to the second floor in the main room. To the door at the end of the hallway. So after I go back upstairs to the door at the end, well, I punched him in the head. Inside, check the table. You receive the devil statue if Barton had sent it there. Last thing we need to do is locate the Barrow's Castle. Look at the painting to the right of the fireplace. Okay. What fireplace? Scissor man doesn't just snip snip, he kinda just he kinda just stabs the shit out of you. Disgusting. Hold on, I'm gonna see how the fuck to get out of here. Kitchen, pantry, and the floor. Shower room, the pantry, the main entrance way. Okay. Oh, freaky fucking midget. I'm gonna watch card. Tubes.
Hide outside. Hide out. Hide somewhere. No way. <sighs> I just need the fucking statue. to find out where that stupid castle is. There's someone who's tall, standing on the table. What the blip is this? Oh yeah, it's gotta be a statue teach. What's talking about? You now have the statue. I know I could've thrown my... bit crooked. Oh. What? Something is written on the back. I found it the location of the Barrow's Castle. You have confirmed the location of the Barrow's Castle. I've done what I came for. Now I just gotta get out of here alive. cheat the rest of the way out this little fucker <laughs> gonna jump out and spook me <laughs> god this stupid game <laughs> okay I gotta head back down to the first floor Hold on. What? I gotta see this. Hold on. I don't think I ever did that. Oh, you use the soap on the dog outside. Victor the dog. save this is a fucking empty ass den off the table it says all right Shit mask! <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Uh, ho 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 hold on. What the hell is that?
fuck? <laughs> So, <sighs> what the f what was that? See if I can get this done right. Oh. Hey, boy, yeah. Caretaker's body was gone. That dog ate him, bone and all. And he still would have attacked me. <laughs> well, I'm gonna read some of these places where to find Scissorman. So in the kitchen, there's a pantry in the floor. His dumbass can jump out, and it's also a hiding spot. So if you're running from him and open it up, he can jump out at you. Because he's a little asshole. And if you go outside, Scissorman can be out there. Same with the dog. What a little... What a piece of shit this, this, this little buddy is. Places to attack him with. What is it? You hide in the bathroom. Get in the pantry. Use the umbrella. Uh, the bed sheet. Closet. And that's about it. So you don't really get too many places to hide. So, how long is the air machine? I wonder if Gots was able to get that statue alright. I'd better go to the police station. That's a rockin' sports coach you got, Helen. At least it's not your pink one. What's this? Rick's house. Do you want to go to Rick's house? So it all ends up going out to Bear's. Wait, hold on. <laughs> so this is where it all winds up and you're going off to Barrow's castle and you'll be bringing heaps of people along. Back on the map, headed to the police station, talk to Gots. Professor Barton will also be there. We will talk to Gots and decide to go to the Barrow's castle in England. Kind of reminds me of Wayne's World, too. Garth, so did Jim Morrison give you Del Preston's exact address? Wayne, yeah, he said exactly London, England. <laughs> oh, let's go to the police station. I'd like to report a crime. Hey, Teach, it was my turn this time. What happened? You want to know what happened? Scissorman attacked me. <laughs> I had no choice but to believe in him now, do I? Are you hurt? Now, I'm okay. I got the statue, too. Watch an intriguing case. I would love to see this Scissorman. Huh? You'd regret it if you did, Prof. He's a little shyster. There's a castle in England called the Barrows Castle. <laughs> yes, it's exactly in London, England. <clears throat> What the fuck is he doing in Norway? Yeah, they immigrated, but what, he's gonna go back to his fucking castle? How the fuck does he travel?
Does he just have a fucking credit card and go on a plane? What? Excuse me, Miss Helen Maxwell. You have good timing. Oh, so... Well, we've learned a bit of information. That you're going to England. Did you find a lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is going to England. So it was a pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be... Helen, you're just... You're just a fucking idiot. <laughs> How about it? May we join you? Yeah, sure. I don't know if Guts will like it. Hey, no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. Okay. See you at the airport first thing in the morning. We'll be there. See you in the morning. Hotel. I should stop by and see Edward. Miss Maxwell, I have Susan is back. You know about it already? I just saw it on the news. There was another murder. By the way, we're thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere. There might be danger. Oh, I see. We're going to England tomorrow. So I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Yes, we're going to a castle called the Barrows Castle. Because we're original. We're hoping to find some clues about Scissorman. May I go too? Edward, what are you saying? If we don't do anything, he'll kill me as well. I want to go along and help. Edward, that is stupid. Please, Kay. Well, alright. Please look after him, Miss Maxwell. I'm not fucking going. <laughs> okay, alright. We'll be on the first flight tomorrow morning. I wonder if anyone is there. Municipal Library. Helen, we heard you're going to the Barrows Castle in England. Yes. We've decided to go with you, too. You have? This will be a good chance to see a castle. And it sounds like fun. Oh, I see. <laughs> Double check police station. Helen, are you all right? Yeah, yes, I was able to get the statue, and I have found a clue. Right, the inspector told me about going to the Barrow's castle. Suddenly, we've got ten people going to England. Criminy, this is supposed to be serious business. I've contacted the police in England, and I've also arranged a rental car from the airport. Thank you, Gots. We're coming to get you, Scissor Man. This time you'll be the one doing the running. I, Helen, I love you, you sassy bitch. <laughs> the sun is going down. Are you guys lost? You guys even know where you're driving? There's no road there. It'll be dangerous. Let's camp here.
strange. Where's Jennifer? Have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay is looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no. Jennifer is missing too. They can't be missing. The castle. Hurry. Wow, this is actually a pretty short game. Alright, alright, let's. Holy shit. What's wrong? Tea. Everyone's waiting. Oh, yes. What happened? Well, can't go out the same way we came in. Alright, let me do a bit of reading. So, I can get four different endings here, but I want to get ending A, which is the best ending. If I can do that. I'll have officially beaten this game proper. So, why'd they leave me in the alone in the hallway? So after being left alone in the hallway. Go to the door, find yourself in the main hall, go upstairs to the door to the left of the back wall. Side of the back wall. Maybe in the master. Alright, whatever, we'll figure it out. We'll fucking wing it. Thanks, guys, for just leaving me in this freaking crusty ass hallway. This is. Hey, I remember this place! Ooh, I like that. That's actually pretty cool how they do that. Alright, so what I want to do, I want to go upstairs to the door on the left side of the back wall. So it's going to be that door right here. Run, Helen. Okay, there we go. I don't like that it's playing these goddamn noises. It's putting me on edge and I shouldn't have to be on edge because the game wants to be sassy. <sighs> Alright, click the nightstand in between the beds. I don't care if I'm using a stupid guide for this. I really don't. I've never beaten it. This game. The newspaper dated 1912, the same year the Barrows immigrated from England. Okay. So I'll do that. Play mouse will scale to the left wall. Go over to the wall. Search where the mouse went. Beat your feet. Mouse hole in the wall behind the table. There's something in the mouse hole. Well, grab it. <laughs> there is a key in the mouse hole. You have the library key. Public library. Let's stay here for a while, Vern. <laughs> Alright, go back. Go to the store. Left rear wall. Alright. I would say I'm avoiding some of the jump scares, but I don't... I don't care. I don't care. I want the good ending and I don't want the little bastard chasing me. Especially here, because there's a lot of fucking death traps. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so... Uh, left ear roll... 
You'll be sitting with paintings on the wall. At the back wall, there will be a small table. Search it for the mansion key. So, back table. What, this one? Or is it that one under those paintings? Cabinet. I can probably hide in that cabinet. There's something on the table. It's a key. Nice. <laughs> Mansion key. One. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Once you've done that, you go to the opposite door. This guy calls it hallway one. Spell to exercise the devil children is concealed in the fireplace. Quentin Barrows. Exercise the devil children. That's it. Covered with dust. Stop. There's something I gotta grab on the fucking desk. Stop it. Or is that what I was just to stab him with? Oh. I can find a clue and I'll go to the bed, look under the covers. Okay. A book. Cover this book is made of copper. You now have the copper book. Nice. Trying to get endings eight. Um, this is a serious question. How did he get from Norway to England in such a short amount of time? What mode of transportation would allow a freaky looking man with a giant pair of scissors to board with a bunch of people that probably freaked the fuck out? But clearly he just, what, did he fucking, did he take a plane? Did he hide under the wheels? Was he flying on, like, the friendliest flight, you know, friendliest flights ever? And he's just, you know, a friendly dude, and, except for, like, a select group of people? I don't know. I don't fucking know. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it was 1997. Well, at least that's when this game was made. But still, it's like, who... Eh, hmm. You know? Alright? You know? 
a freaky little dude like this with scissors who has a weird like there's a point when you're just being too friendly when you just gotta say sir mm, no thank you we don't need your business where does he even get money from Okay, whatever. Let's go to the master bedroom. That doesn't mean I won't give you guys weird deaths every once in a while. Because his walkthrough... He doesn't really explain some of these deaths. He says, yeah, I don't do this because it's kind of weird. So I kind of want to see it. <gasps> Helen, you... Bitch. Alright, let's save the game quickly. I think last time I did this, I got everybody killed, and then I myself died. Alright, so, fireplace. So, let's check the fireplace. <sighs> what if I do it again? Helen, god damn it, okay. I'm going camping, I'm gonna need my flashlight on because it's spooky. Yeah, this imagery, of course something evil fucking happened here. Look at this shit. What a welcoming castle. Oh, you know, Satana. You greet everyone. Scare the shit out of me. Don't scare me like that. What's up? Did you find anything? No. Oh well. It's a good looking place anyway. Quite relaxing. What are you saying? Scissor Man is lurking around here somewhere. It's just a hunch, but I don't think he's after me. Because he is after you. Oh, I found this key a while ago. You can have it. I wonder which door it opens. 
Yeah, I wonder too. You'd better find a way to kill Scissor Man soon. I want to kick this guy square in the ass. <laughs> what a piece of shit. <laughs> not after me he's after you <laughs> what an asshole all right so let's see. go through the door Harris does and inspect the floor all right. that Maxwell? Is everyone all right? I don't know. I'm still looking for them. I wonder if Nolan's still alive. All right. So find him, talk to him, return to hallway one, use the mansion key, so hallway one. So let's go back up. My dude, I've only ever... I've only ever got like the worst ending and then I never completed this part and I really fucked it up because I got everyone to die. see so use the mansion head past the stairs and into the door All right. Put the key away. Talk to him. Hold on. Find him. Talk to him. I already did that. Once inside the storm, you find no one that's still coming. Kind of Search his tape recorder on the floor. Oh, is this it? So I can steal his batra? I need a tape recorder. There should be batteries in here. If only they are the right size. You have batteries. Oh good, they'll fit in the flashlight. 
Yay, Helen. You know... <laughs> uh, Helen just has a way of like soaking, sucking out any horror with just the way she talks and acts. It's making me laugh. Okay, so I got the battery, so I gotta go back to the master bedroom. So let's do that. Well done. Okay, Tim, or not Tim, Nolan, have fun in your coffin. see that weird death and yes I will save a lot too I don't trust this game Just to make so I don't have to run back up here again. Well, yes, it does all right. Okay. So let's just use the flashlight from that one clue. And there was a note stuck. It's in Latin. Words to open the door. And ha e shit. Words to open the door. Maybe these words can be used to exercise scissorman. You now have door spell. But what happens? Let me use it again. Are you telling me this walkthrough lied to me? Well, poop. That's no fun. Oh well. Let's see. Section 5. Go into the store where you found new land. I get those issues a lot at work. <laughs> There's no land. I have no internet. Which has me sitting at my desk going, What the hell are you talking about? No land? you high? I can connect to your computer and they're like, I don't know, your website's down. And then you restart it and send them back and then it's back working and they think you're some kind of genius. When really you're just tired of everyone's bullshit. <laughs> Fun fact, if you just turn your eyes at someone and slowly turn your head after, you can really freak them out. Alright, so we gotta go back here. To the storeroom, search the chest and get some lead balls. I've got balls of lead. <laughs> okay, hit it if you. Down batteries torch one if you come down do as long as you're trying to get the as long as you're trying to get the A, B, or D, go to section seven, so here's that. Go back to the main hall.
Which one does it want me to go through? Go to the first door you find yourself. Alright. That's some crunchy sounding noise, Jesus Christ. Okay, with the fire going, you can search the desk, click the chair, get a note. Right. Some words carved into the desktop. Take the drive path and choosing among the three. Wonder what this means. Helen. Get. <laughs> so I get a wooden box and I go back into the office to the wooden box in the fire. There's no way to open this box. <gasps> but if you throw a box in fire, wood burn. Wood burn, give item. fuck did you burn? Save often. Saving is your friend. things first. <gasps> I think this is about where I got plot-wise before I just got bored and started piddling around. Yeah, it said choose the one that's dry. But what does the death look like? Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> they just crowd her like they do, Kenny. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh. Oh, sweet googly moogly. Okay. Well, I didn't hear any water, so... Yeah, it won't go down the goddamn hole anyway. to the Hall of Bone. <laughs> Got? Yo, Teach. Oh, you're alive. Hey, what do you mean by that? Are you fucking just relaxing in a room of skeletons? Where is everyone? Aren't they with you? Scissorman attacked us and we all scattered. Oh, I see. How can you be no so nonchalant, Helen? What do we do now, Teach? We've got to keep looking. There has to be a way to kill Scissorman here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> Subtitles caught up. That's why he's trying so hard to get in our way. Yeah, then take this with you. A gun. It might be useful. A pistol? What about you? It's okay. I've got another. Can you use it? Yes. I've had some training. That means you're an amateur. But anyway... This will be real practice. Got. Huh? Thank you. Just what you thought you saw. Ghosts. Does nothing phase you people? All the kids killed here. How terrible. After Scissorman, I ain't scared of no ghosts. Okay. 
Yeah, because ghosts are incorporeal and can't hurt you, even though you got attacked by a fucking mask. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go to the main hall. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. When you really think about it, who's who are really the insane ones in this game? Damn it, where am I going? Oh. Okay. Lock church, huge door at the bottom right. The fuck kind of gun is that? Yeah, this is about as far as I got. And I fucked it up and then I stopped playing. <gasps> you can cap his ass. I thought that's what was going to happen. She was going to hit Jennifer. Oh, man. Well, let's see where this little shithead went. Come here, you. Professor Bob. What the fuck? Professor Barton. Why? How could you? Helen, I told you when you first joined my seminar. There's always a danger of turning toward evil. <laughs> when you are researching criminal behavior.
<laughs> always remember that danger. <laughs> Helen looks like she's been on the, uh, smoking saying? a little fun stuff. <laughs> it, it, it's ironic, isn't it? That I was drawn in by his evil soul. Helen, do you believe that you really have the strength to keep it from happening, do you? Helen's a little high right now. Can you really deny that you are involved? In this case, because you wanted to be involved. No, kind of like how Leo squinted at that person. Maybe you too. She's squinting in disbelief. By the vast I'm not like you. Uh, uh. Well, she just killed her boss. All right, Teach. She's okay. And the case is solved. drawn in by his evil soul. His. In other words, the real Superman is still alive. It's not over until he is dead. Gods, please stay with Jennifer. What about you? I'm going to take another look around. I'm going to find the real Scissor Man. I see. Be careful. Helen. I'll be all right. Worked out a little better than I'd hoped. <gasps> but he's not. The real one's still alive. It's just the professor was a shithead. He's a shitlord who's trying to cosplay as him again. I'm the real Sizzle Man. If you watch the new um, Halloween movie, it's kind of the same thing will happen with the doctor there. If you haven't seen it, spoilers. Alright, hold on. Go back into the church, into the first door down this hall. What? Turn to the church. What the fuck are you talking about? Am I reading this wrong? What the hell?
I'm looking at that big pile. Trap door in the fountain room. Which one is the fountain room? Give me a second. Well, gotta go find the fountain. the entrance. Why did that work? Okay, here it is, the fountain. Okay. Thank you. 
You'd get this far, Helen. Edward? That is Edward's voice? You... You're, You're the, the murderer? <laughs> Let's play, Helen. Take the shot! Shoot! Jesus Christ! Destroyed the castle. No reason to get upset, is there, Teach? I don't think we can make it. I am certain Jennifer is still alive. What? Hey, someone's there! Jennifer? Helen? Jennifer, you're alive! Helen! I done it. Congratulation, me.
I know, right? First pull. And then later I can do the Jennifer playthrough because I, I have no idea what changes. Actually, I don't think it's the first full playthrough. I played, um, Singularity. I played a few games. Tracking Guard 3. Oh, I gotta play that more to get the better endings. First full playthrough you've caught. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, a rank. <laughs> yeah. You know what you should do, Jordan? You should play the first one. You're carrying the box that can't be opened. You need to do something fairly drastic to get the contents. No, no, this is a sequel. Okay, so there was Clock Tower, The First Fear, as they call it, because they had to rename it because they put this one out and called it Clock Tower as well. So there's Clock Tower, where you play as Jennifer. This is the sequel to that. As you can see by this story. Whatever, I'm going to be posting this to the interwebs. But yeah, dude, you should totally stream this. And then there's a bunch of different endings based on what you do. I just want to get Jennifer's and Helen's ending. I just can't believe I beat it. Holy smokes. Alright. Well, I'm a done streaming for now. Toodaloo.